Mrs. Callahan, what has been challenging for you as an educator during remote learning? Not be able to hug those babies because they, they need those hugs. You're thinking um, in 7 million different directions and trying to make things that aren't virtual, digital, remote and make them virtual, digital, remote and you can't, there's so many things you can't control about what they've got going on at home that you could control in the classroom and how can we still make sure they're learning. All right, Wesley, what was your thinking? My thinking was since um, one plus one plus one, like three ones equal three, I thought that would be three. And then the bottom fours, they usually don't change until you get to like something else and, and you can change it. So then it, it stays the same. So that means one plus one plus one would equal three and then keep the four at the bottom. Who is going to agree or disagree or add on? Ooh, okay. No one pays any attention to me. Oh my goodness. All right, Colin, take it from there. Remember to pinch your screen if you can't see it. There's lots of words on these pages. You like having brothers and, or sisters. I like playing with my big brother, said BB Seal. You'll see it's, it'll be fun. Oh my goodness. So what do you guys think? Do you think it's going to be fun? Yeah? Alex still wishes he has a brother and sister, don't you, Alex? What do you think, Colin? You have a sister. What do you think? Um, I think probably not, because sometimes me and my sister tackle each other. Sometimes we don't like each other. Sometimes you don't like each other? Do you guys argue? So, a lot, so, mostly. Yeah. All right. We've still been able to make connections, and those kids are excited to talk to me and tell me things every day. They will send me the sweetest little messages. Like one of them changed her screen the other day and said, best teacher ever, like BFFs. Or they're emailing me exciting things that they've found that they want me to see. Or they're excited about Flipgrid. Or what are we going to do for two weeks during winter break without you? Can we still have a meet? Can we make me a Flipgrid? Connections are still happening even through computer screens. So we're watching this video. What kind of resource am I? Show me on your boards. What kind of resource is Mrs. Callahan? Oh, check that out. Mm -hmm. Lots of human resource choices. Way to go. Open up your assignment, okay? Unsubmit it. And then let's go in and make those changes so that when you go to turn it back in, you have all those details. Hey, Miss Haley, what do you need, girly? Oh, do we get back on 11? Yes, please. Thank you for checking in. How you doing, Mr. Preston? Let me check in on your work. Oh, perfect. There you go, buddy. After that, they found... Can you try to put each other in there? And then you can turn yeah, it in. This isn't a last year. They're learning so many skills that are going to carry them on through the rest of their life, and that's what I keep trying to focus on. Alex, did you have a question, or is that hand raised from earlier? Um, I think I, I really think I've caught on to this, and thank you very much for doing that with Jet. That helped, didn't it, right? Talking mm -hmm. out? Yes. If I ever call your name out because you say you're confused, I want you to know I'm calling out because the more you are participating and trying to figure it out, the easier it's going to become for you. He's straight. So good, Alex. I'm glad that helped you. Five. Five fives. So let's count by fives and do six times five to help us. Ready? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Now, Kingston, what do I do? You add six one more time, and then you get 36. There you go. So guys, on those bigger ones, if you're having a hard time, start with an easier one that you know. And multiplying by five is usually one of the easiest ones to do. What's well, been really hard for parents as you've watched these last few months? Um, they're seeing a 
they're seen into a classroom, things that they've never seen before. They, they send kids to school and some of them don't know what happens in that classroom and they get to see every single part of it. They have things that they maybe don't understand how to do and they're figuring out that yes, we are all partners in this together. Um, juggling their own um, work schedules and now juggling school when that was just something they didn't have to think about because the kids were here with us. Um, but I think communication has been um, something that's been essential. How do you think we've overcome that as a staff for those parents? We've tried to be consistent in one way instead of this teacher doing this and this teacher doing this and you doing that. We've, we've kind of tried to create those common platforms, but it's still getting people to religiously <laughs> check those plat you know, that particular platform. Hey, I just wanted to like express my gratitude. Um, I can't say much because I literally will cry, but um, crazy time, you know, and teachers, you guys are just, you're killing it. I can't even imagine how hard and how stressful and so much of this you're doing while you're trying to manage your own children. Um, and I just, we feel it. Uh, I mean, at me as a parent, I feel your guys' love and your passion so strongly. And, you know, coming back to school, I was so worried that my kids were gonna be miserable under those conditions, you know, masks and separated and eating lunch in their classroom and getting, you know, the monkey bars to play on at the playground. And um, I can't tell you how much they've enjoyed and soaked up those days at school with you guys. So, um, thank you so much. And even, I mean, not even just classroom teachers, the greetings that we get in the morning, Mr. K every morning when we pull up and drop the kids off, like there's just so much joy and positivity oozing out of everyone there. Um, it was kind of like, it's so sad to me that they're going back remote. You know, I'm trying, obviously like we're trying to focus on the positives, but I think that this little snippet of time that they got in the building was just like what we needed to be able to continue pressing forward, you know? So I'm sorry that I'm so emotional, but um, I truly just deep down in my soul just feel so grateful. I will never forget what teachers and, and school staff have gone through. And the way they have showed up for kids is just unbelievable. Mama, so Mama, thank you. Are you sad? Are no, you sad? I'm not sad. <laughs> thank you for Mama, your, yeah. but your, but your nose is <laughs> Hi, Abe. If I, if I could have a second to um, echo her sentiment, definitely teachers have shown up in incredible ways. I know my daughter is a handful and you guys have just done so much during these trying times. You guys are like real life superheroes. You guys just don't teach our children, but you help raise our children. And we're just seeing just all of the work that you do, especially now. So yeah, I, I definitely second uh, a lot of her comments. So thank you for sure. So we've got some members of Callahan's crew here and they're ready to share with us about remote learning. Hey, Thomas, can you share with us what's, what can you tell us about remote learning? What's gone well for you? Um, I like how we get the whole, the whole day to work on our school and I like how we get 30 minute breaks in between. And what do you do during those breaks? Do you just like get to go play or what? I get to uh, catch up on my work and then I get to go play after. There you go. Kalia, tell me about what you think. You were, you were sharing with me how it was kind of difficult in the beginning. Well, in the beginning, it was pretty hard because we had a new schedule. But then when we started to do it more off often, it was not really hard anymore. Yeah. Okay. You feel like you know what to do now? Yes. 
Ashlyn, what can you share with us? Like that we can't go meet each other in real life. So um, we do the Google Meet and we can still talk each other, see each other and learn together, just like how we do in real school. Yeah. Adriana, you had a really neat insight today. Um, I like that we have breaks be because um, when we're all in the class classroom and we're working, it's loud because everybody's trying to talk to the teacher. So when we get a break, we get time to focus and work on our work. Thank you. Brady, what about you? I like all the new tools like polls, waste, hand button, tweet. Then the, I like Google Meet better than Zoom. Zoom is <laughs> annoying. <laughs> All right. Jackson. Um, I, I like being on remote learning because we have a lot more space than when we're in the classroom. We all have to be like crammed in the one room. So Callahan's crew, we often talk about making the best of the situation. And I think you guys have found that way to make that work, huh? Is there anything else you want to tell me about what's gone well with remote learning before we say goodbye? Go ahead, Adriana. It's because when we were in second grade, we didn't have a teacher on the Google Meet to help us. And now we do, so it's much easier because we can have more help. Good, good. I'm glad you feel that way, Brady. And the little Google Meet that we had before we did this and our, and from last year, the little Google Meet we had, we weren't even doing work. Yeah, you were just meeting and kind of checking in with each other. So it's been helpful, you think, to, to meet together like this? Kalia, go ahead. Well, when we were in second grade, we just went on uh, our seesaw. Mm -hmm. and just did work on seesaw right and it was kind of hard to learn how to do the stuff on seesaw and now we have this uh class classroom yeah. class work yeah, classroom in your classwork yes I, I remember the very beginning of the year you looked at me like this is so hard mrs callahan and now you guys are total rock stars you can jump between all kinds of different things and you're turning in assignments and you're attaching things. You're showing me how to do things sometimes. Brady, did I see your hand raised? Go ahead. Um, and Google Meet didn't have assignments when I used it last year. Oh, Google Classroom, you mean? Yep. To talk. Oh, yeah. And so now we use it to launch all of our assignments. And then you've got everything in Google Classroom. Thank you so much, guys, for sharing um, your thoughts with me. I'm very proud of you. Keep being the rock stars you are. See you, See you soon.